Boom, 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 boom. Let's have a quick chat. Yikes. She, Pippa. Yes, she was. Thank you, sweet lady. Do you want me to send that to you, or do you want me to send it to Pippa? Yeah, so I'll I'll send you an email. What's up, Foggy? Yesterday, I was still in shock and thinking about the criminal complaint for the Taylor Shea business case. So I went about my day, made my video on that. Please watch it if you haven't. But I was going to sleep last night about half eleven, and I put on Benny. Hold on a second. What up, skins? Watching crime stuff, man. Watching stuff about the Summer Wells case. I made that video the other day about it, and I fucking, they, there's so many people who's like, you don't know the fucking facts, you're not, you're spreading misinformation, well motherfucker, we in a fucking sea of misinformation, okay, I don't know everything that fucking happened, I gotta find out by skimming through a good billion fucking videos, and half those videos are people making videos that are like, I'm inside the mind of a suspect in the, in the case of some of Wells, like, shh, look what I'm having to thumb through, motherfucker. So I'm just, I'm just kind of like skimming through and just watching different shit, because there's a lot of shit about this case right now. There's just, god damn, it's like every day there's like fucking a hundred new videos to go through. Like there's a new guy they're talking about, Tim Mullen. That's, but, my damn, most of these videos are, like, fucking three hours long. What? What? Oh, okay, I was about to say. I thought somebody made a video about the Summer Wells thing being connected to the fucking Brian Laundry thing. I was about to be like, are you serious? I'm gonna see what harsh reality's been been saying. Is there anyone I've missed? Oh, I haven't watched this. The volume's low on what? Vocals? So look, sometimes in order to piece together... Yeah, I've seen that, Willows. ...what truly happened, you have to kind of go right back to the start and focus on one specific element in a case and exhaust that element beyond... Any What's a sleuth? What is that? Anything. So you have literally looked at it, scrutinized it, pulled it apart, and tried to make sense of it. Because it's this one little thing that makes or breaks the entire chain of events. And I think I've found that specific thing that kind of... Wow. Thanks, Samantha. ...stares this entire investigation in a certain direction and for this to happen we need to go back to june the 15th 2021 and what we're going to do for the purpose of looking at this we're going to assume that everything up to summer getting back to the house is irrelevant we're going to say for the purpose of this video 
we are going to assume that Candace was being truthful. If you're just now coming in here, I'm watching something about the Summer Wells case. And this is probably a good video to click on first because I think he's about to tell us, uh, you know, kind of like uh, re-go through the beginning of like what happened. They did what they said they had to do and they got back to the house. Now, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying I don't agree. All right, what part is quiet? Is it is the video quiet or am I quiet? Yeah, Mama, we're going to watch a little bit of Chris McDonough in a minute. Bro, Jamie, me too, bro. It's it's literally consumed my office life at night. The video's low. Okay. Let me see if I can fix that for you. Uh, uh. Uh. See if this is any better. Agree with it. But I think we have to be fair and say, look, okay, we'll run with your story, Candace. We'll go with you because at the end of the day, you could just be a mother who's lost her child and the story that you gave is accurate. Appreciate it. Now, look, so we've got back to the house and we get to the point of the, the, the cacti being planted. Okay, we're going to go from that point. So they're planting cacti, they are in that area, and it would assume that Grandis and Candace are both there while this is happening. And I'll tell you for why, because Candace states that Summer says she wants to go into the house to play with her toys, to see her brothers. There's a little bit of a, so she wants to go and play, she wants to see her brothers, What? whatever, but she makes the decision that she wants to go from outside the house into the house. Okay. And Candace is there and she walks her. She states that she walks with her to the house and walks her inside. We know that she walks her physically into the house because she then says to the boys to keep an eye on Summer. Mm -hmm. Now, let's look at this little element here. And that is, Summer has said that she wants to go inside and play. Mm -hmm. So why, even at that point, would Candace be of a mindset that, A, she's got to walk her into the house? Now, we have seen the style of parenting that seems to have been going on around these children. They weren't the most cared-for children in terms of cleanliness, um, their nourishment, their, their physical and mental needs. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that that proves that they're guilty of anything, but it does show you what their parenting style was like. Right. But from this point, what we're saying is that Summer went a distance of around 10 feet and Candace walked her during that period of from the cacti to the house, into the house, and then went on to tell her brothers to keep an eye on her yeah, while she was in like there. And these, to me... They don't completely it. ring true because it seems like that is almost over parenting. Yeah. You're, she's trying to give a give a, a vision of this is what I am as a mother. I uh, mm. I will not let her walk more than 10 yards without me being with her. When she goes into the house, I make sure that she is being this is looked at, looked after. Woodruff. Do you know what I mean? This is what Candace is trying to do. She's trying to project this image of I am a fantastic no, mother and I kept I, I make sure that I do everything right. You're with me so far? Mm -hmm. So what we're saying from this point is that Summer has been walked into the house. Downtown Trina, this shit definitely is a rabbit hole, bro. Like, fuck. I, I had to stop watching it for a minute because the conspiracy theories got so fucking crazy. And and Candace has gone into the house with her and she's told the boys to keep an eye on Summer. Mm -hmm. She then tells them that she is going to be back in two minutes. Why would you do all that okay. for two minutes? And this is that two minute lie. Because this two minutes is what will now govern this entire story from this point forward. Alright, let's, let's hear it. Because Candace then confirms that she did in fact return 
in two minutes. Did wait. Uh, I thought she said she went for a walk. Also, oh well, whatever. So what Candace is trying to say is that in a period of two minutes, Summer had changed her mind about going into the house and playing, mm -hmm. and instead wanting to go back outside where she was two minutes ago. Wait, that... but why would, why would she need to clarify both of those things? Like, if she's in and out, in and out. I, I'm just thinking on a base level, bro. So anybody coming in here, anybody coming in here who's like, you don't know the facts! You're right. I fucking don't, which is why I'm watching the shit. So shut up and watch me watch the shit and talk with me about, in, about it in the chat. Or, or don't, don't expect me to know everything you know, okay? But the clarification of, hey, I'm coming outside. Hey, I'm going inside. To me is kind of weird because based on what he said, like, you know, based on, or not what he said, based on, like, the surrounding of the house and, you know, how they lived and stuff, it doesn't seem like you would need a clarification, like, I'm coming outside, I am going inside. Oh, no. That makes sense. Why would Summer say, when she's outside, that she wants to go inside and yeah, play? Kids do yeah, kids do, like, like Metal Matt said, like, that's what I was thinking. Maybe she, like, went in and, like, grabbed a toy or something and then came back outside. But the clarification part of I'm coming outside, I'm going in. It's kind of just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But then within a period of two minutes, she's then completely changed her mind and gone back outside where she was. I can see that. That little segment there of the story doesn't make sense. But it goes mm. further. Because what we're saying is, say this was someone who was watching Summer mm -hmm. and wanted to get her. Now, they would have it had would have to, to have been be, watching for... It would have to be somebody that knows them 100%, hands down. There's nothing you can tell me. And here's why. Here's why. Kids that are abducted are abducted in places where if you're out of place, it doesn't look out of place. For instance, Walmart parking lot, uh, inside a fucking toy store, uh, fucking McDonald's parking lot. Like, if you're riding around a parking lot and you're a fucking weirdo scoping out children, it's not going to look weird for you to drive around in that parking lot. Because you could be waiting for somebody to come out. You could, uh, you could be um, looking for a parking spot. Something like that. The fact that the thought of a random person, personally... The thought of a random person scoping out summer down a back road in a fucking holler in the middle of Tennessee where it looks like a scene of a serial killer movie and you got to go up this driveway and as you're going up the driveway you see rusty trucks and cars and motor parts everywhere and dogs in the yard. Uh, motherfucker, if you a random person scoping out a kid there you must have a motherfucking death wish because the first thought that they should think is, hey, there's somebody here that's, that's rustic and will, you know, shoot the fuck out of me. I live in Tennessee. I see these kind of places all the time, bro. Roughneck people live in areas like that. So for it to be a random person to want to go up there and be like, hmm, this, this must be the place. Fuck to the no. Not a chance. And that's just base thinking, bro. All right, let's keep going. Or an opportunity to do so. But there wouldn't have been an opportunity to do so because Candace is so vigilant with Summer. This is what Candace has said. She must have been there when the cacti were being planted. At the very least, Grandice would have been there and Candace would have been there towards the tail end of that. Wait, and this person wait, has watched hold on, hold on, this hold on. happening. I have, to, I have to see this again. Yeah. When the cacti were being planted. Shit, hang on, sorry, sorry, sorry. I want to just, I want to make sure I'm clear. Seen an opportunity to do so because Candace is so vigilant with Summer. This is what Candace has said. She must have been there when the cacti were being planted. At the very least, Grandis would have been. Balls may bite. 
Uh, is it possible that the brothers might have killed her accidentally and the parents are trying to cover it up? I don't think so. I don't, I don't really want to get into theories right now. I want to wait till I watch a few videos, but I don't think so because I don't think they would care enough to cover it up for their kids, to be honest, you know? Based off what I what you see, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't seem like they're the type they are like, oh, crap, I must... I must definitely cover up for my son. Fuck no. They're going to be like, this is what happened. Like, at least that's what I would think. There, and Candace would have been there towards the tail end of that. And this person has watched this happening. She's, they've, all, they've also watched Candace walk Summer into the house. Mm. And they've watched her walk back two minutes later. Mm. What really could have happened in that two minutes? Like I said, time? In, like I said in that, <clears throat> like I said in that other video, it, if she was abducted, it had to be somebody they know. And possibly, if she was abducted, I think the person could have already been there. I mean. What can you do in two minutes? Yeah. Because what this seems to me, this, this little story what here, language this little is this? segment of what happened English? is Candace trying to protect her image as a mother. And I think by doing so, she lied. And she made a story that then rendered the an impossibility of summer being taken because it can't happen that way. It couldn't have happened in that manner. In a, t in a period of two minutes, summer could not have been taken from that house because nobody would have taken that risk of going to that property yeah. or up to that property and taking summer from the house. Not a stranger. I don't believe that Summer would have made a decision when she's already made a decision to go into the house within two minutes to then completely change her mind and head back outside. So she would have been in the house. Now, my conclusion is this. Now, look, is that I just want to let everybody know, because I've seen Jared. He said two minutes, plenty of time. Now, I've even taken into consideration that in Tennessee... Two minutes is a figure of speech. Swear to God. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but, like, in Tennessee, people, all the time you hear people say two minutes because they're like, man, it took two, it'll take two fucking minutes. I'll be back in two minutes. It's like a figure of speech. But even then, dude, I don't know. I don't know. Lo this that lost it's period fishy. of two hours, nobody knows what happened. Now, this is just v one version of events. And this kind of paints a picture that something did indeed happen, and it could have been that Summer did wander off. It could have been that Summer was lured off of that property. Bro, absolutely. Because when you, when you lie, bro, you got to cover up that lie with eight other lies. You're going to trip up and slip up and fuck up somewhere. But what I'm telling you is, that's that missing segment of time. There's not two minutes here where something happened. There is around two hours where something happened. Damn, two hours! And in order to find out what happened to Summer on that day, TBI needs to pull that family in and ask them the real version of events of that day. Or... They can let them stay separated like they are, so they all snitch on their motherfucking self. That's what I think. And I think that's probably what they're doing. Has he made any more? What up, chat? Damn, there's two hours missing in the timeline? Yikes. What, okay, so people who've been following this, like, diehard following it, what should I look up right now? What should I look up about this? 
Is there any new information? Hola, Gage. Como estas? Why are you watching newcomers? What's newcomers? The, oh, yeah, the interview room. Church, you good, son? Yeah, man. Are you? The interview room. All right. I've already watched some of them. Aloha. Oh, I want to watch this. Oh, man. It's two hours long. Oh, that's the Chris Madonna version. I want to watch the grandest interview. Hold on. Somebody mentioned that on Twitch. I think I watched a, a little bit of it. I'm not sure. There's so many videos about this shit. Okay, yeah, I watched maybe like a minute and a half of it. I watched two minutes and five seconds of it. I'm going to run it to the back. All right. What the fuck is this? Good morning, good, good afternoon, ow, noon, ow, and good evening, ow, friends. Ow, that was fucking loud. Okay, I don't want to see that. I want to see... I want to see the actual interview. Is there just the interview, bro? I'm a, uh, grandest interview, just the interview. <laughs> So hard to find original clips on YouTube. Oh my God, even when you type that in, it doesn't come up. She's been missing for like nine months or something, right? Okay, full interview. Here we go. Criminal Gosper. Thank you. Appreciate it, Candace Simpson. Means a lot. All right, let's watch this and see. I want to see what she says. Candace and I got up that morning. She came out and took me to my end of the ER because my leg was messing up on me. And we were afraid something was wrong with my knee. I have a Can y'all hear that? And she was worried that there was something wrong with it. And she took me into the hospital. All right, Bob. And... I ended up getting a, a shot for it to get rid of the pain. And they prescribed me medication to take to get the swelling down out of my knee. So she went to the emergency and room. my knee because it was inflamed. And then we waited around for my prescription. Summer went swimming that day. Summer went swimming or y'all went swimming? It was. Wait, and why? then we come back. Well, well, hold up, Granny. Oh, Grandis. At the horse stables, I believe it was. And around my knee. Then we waited around for my prescription. Summer went swimming that day. At the horse stables, I believe it was. You believe? And then we come back, and I went in my camper, and after we brought my groceries in for me, and the boys helped with that, and, and of course, Summer, and... Uh, and I went in my camper, and 
after we brought my groceries in for me and the boys helped with that in and of course summer and mm. Mm. I laid down went to sleep and I got up and I was sitting in my doorway went to sleep and we come out and yeah that's where okay that's where uh, yeah just asked me what I was doing I said because she didn't did she say that before she didn't mention being asleep before did she She did, it? We come out and too Candace much asked me what talk. I was doing. I said, well, too much talk. Wow. I don't know what that means, dog. We got to transplant these little cactuses into bigger pots. And we did that. And then Summer come in and had a piece of peppermint, which is her favorite. And... Then she went in, she said, Mama, I want to go play with the boys. Candy walked her back to the house, and she asked the boys to keep an eye on her, and that's the last time I seen her. Tell me, when you first realized that someone was missing, what was going through your mind, and what, what was it like here? To be blunt, it was hell. I mean, and I apologize, I'm blunt. Um, Wait a minute. As everybody Wait knows, a I have a minute. I want to see which way her eyebrows go up or down when she says that. What's going through? I'm not going to go into why. I just fucking. Um, I want to see. What, what was it like here? To be blunt, it was hell. Hmm. When you first realized that someone was missing, what was going through your mind and what, what was it like here? To be blunt, it was hell. Mm. I mean, mm. and I apologize, I'm blunt. Um, as everybody knows, I have a missing daughter. She's been gone for 12 years. And all I can say is, oh God, not again. And I couldn't do nothing but cry. And we yelled for her, and we yelled for her, and yelled for her. And we could not find her. Candy was in hysterics. And we never did find her. She called 911, and she called Donnie, and... When did she call 911? Who knows? When did she call 911? How long after... Did they call 911? I just want to know. We sent the boys down over the hill, and I stood in front of the, over by the edge there and watched them. And, and was praying to God every Why did they send the kids on the other side of the hill? That's what she said, right? Sent the boys down over the hill, and I called Donnie, and... We sent the boys down over the hill, and I stood in front of the, over by the edge there and watched them, and, and was praying. Okay, so uh, when, when did the, I know it happened on June 15th, but what time did this, like, apparently take place, and then how long after did they call 911? Was it, like, instantly? Okay, so it was instantly. Uh, every minute that nobody would take them. And there was no sign of her. Do you believe that someone took Summer, or do you believe that she wandered off? What do you believe happened? I believe somebody took her. I know people say <laughs> it doesn't happen, but it does happen. It happens in small towns, it happens in big towns. It happens in the country. And I believe somebody took her. That's why I come on camera. 
because I am sick and tired of the lies. Rose has been missing for 12 years. Ow. I miss her dearly. Ow, loud. She's the baby of the family. To go through it again with my granddaughter, Summer, is very heartbreaking. And that's what a lot of people don't it's understand. Me, Marie. Is what a parent goes through, what a grandmother goes through. It's the not knowing is what tears us up. It's the not knowing. I think it had to do a lot with Dr. Phil, the way it came out on Dr. Phil mm. when she was out there. I was not out there. I think it... Bro. If, if Arrival 330 and 623 Candace called is actual time, that's red flag as fuck. Hurt Candace in a way. I don't know if it's helped or not. I don't believe it has. Maybe it's gotten more attention out everywhere. On them. They prescribed me medication to take to get the swelling down out of my knee. Cracking cases. And around my knee because it was inflamed. And then we waited around for my prescription. Yeah, Someone went that. swimming that day. I ain't finna call nobody before I call 911 because I'm, I'm trying to go ahead and get the message out ahead of motherfucking time. So, I mean, dude, you so it starts from the outside in instead of from the inside out. You, you, you start searching from the inside out. That's how somebody gets away. You start searching from the outside in. That's how they don't get away. At the horse stables, I believe it was. There was no sign of her. We never did find her. She called 911 and she called Donnie and we sent the boys down over the hill and I stood in front of the, over by the edge there and watched them. And, and was praying to God. Why does, the, why does her sleeping on milk jugs worry you? I'm just asking, I don't know, I, I mean, when I was a kid, I fucking fell asleep on every fucking thing. It meant that nobody would take them. I hope and I pray to God every day that she's found and found alive. Okay. Hey, profile and manipulation, you have a point. Very good point. Cause then she, cause I see what you're saying. Like, she would have got like, you know, like, uh, beat up or hit or yelled at because of that. I feel that. All right, what should I look up next? That involves this case. Give me some. Oh yeah, the interview room. Ziggy. Okay, so chat, who do who who do y'all think knows? Out of this whole group of people that they've sh showed in this case, who all do you think knows what happened? Appreciate it, Sarah. Good, scary. How you doing? You can't hear me. Why not? My level over here says it's great. Hmm. Whoa, the interview room's live? I'm watching this shit.
I analyze it? Oh, no, it's not live anymore. All right, thanks, Raider. Ziggy went there. Who the hell? Who is Ziggy? Ziggy. Damn, but all these videos are like five hours long. Yeah, I'm dipping. The lab, the lab, the lab, some, uh, wells. Is that what you're? Lab, okay. Archives of the lab, is that the channel? Cracking cases. Cracking cases. Oh, I started watching this dude last night. His streams aren't extra long. I already started watching this, so I'm going to jump back into it. Um, Now, there is certain things. The, okay, I'm going to try one more time. The lab. Appreciate it. Love the country. The lab. Summer. Wells. I don't, I'm not seeing. It says the lab. Right. Look. It says the lab right here. But when you click on it, it says archives of the lab. New channel. Okay. New channel in description. What? I don't. I, I don't know how to do all that. Where are you? Oh, the lab 2.0. 2.0. Stream six hours ago. What is this? Is it playing? Friday, March 11th. From, you know, twisting facts to just straight out lies from straight out lies to attacking people's family and it turns a lot of really good people away from these platforms we all end up we all end up wanting to you know it, the the good people tend to run from this and the bad people are attracted to it and then we're really in a Thanks. conundrum there. Bro, why is that? I covered this shit and motherfuckers are like, You don't know! You weren't there! It's like, you weren't either, motherfucker! 
uh, because obviously you want the good people to be involved, yet it, it's tough. I, I got to tell you, you know, I mean, there's days that I, I just had a conversation with somebody who asked me, are we really helping? My answer was, I don't know. I hope so. That's the goal. Some days feels better than others about it. Some, day, some days you feel better about it than others. And some days you go, what the hell am I doing? Am I any better than the things that I see? Do I just hold myself uh, to a to a higher Matthew standard in Reed. my mind? Uh, when it, Matthew Reed, I do too, bro, but I really don't think she is. I'm just being flat out, bro. In fact, based off what I've seen, uh, I don't think she is. And that sucks, and I hope she is, but I don't think so, bro. Maybe I'm not doing any better. Uh, you know, those things always run through everybody's mind. I mean, you take self-inventory and say, am I, am I here for the... It's hard to be decent to people when they're... That. How far in does he start talking about who, who's monitoring this? So then, if you want to call somebody Put out on it, you space, become front and really center, entangled. I don't, I don't know how or I would, bro. You become really, really entangled I'm, I'm in the beef stuff about it. That's all I can uh, do. That others right want. They want that. you to spread. They want. I they want you to legitimize them by bringing their names up. And Kimberly. The, the two little boys that are presumed uh, now deceased that the defense now that there's a gag order we the, the next day there was going to be a gag order and the defense is going to now say that the district attorney was out of line with their press conference and that they swayed the public so that they can't get a fair trial now uh, that is ne that's the tactics of all defense lawyers that have a crappy case that they have to defend. Uh, I hope that you sleep well at night. Why don't you try to defend your clients based on the facts instead of trying to put it off on a fact-finding mission? I find that very, very difficult. But, shocker. Uh, it doesn't shock me because that's, uh -oh. that's how these things now work. Uh, and, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man, dude. It's great this guy's doing this, but I can't go through that long of, of stuff to find stuff. I just, oh, damn it. Oh, no, Rising Sun. I ain't worried about that. I ain't fucking doing all that. I just want to look up this shit. Crime, lines, and lies. Crime, lines, and lies. <clears throat> They're all like two hours long, y'all. What? That? Yeah, right. For real? They said that? Oh, hold up. I got to watch this. Hang on a second. I don't know. Wells made a very interesting post today, and I am not sure what to think of it. Before we talk about that, I want you to remember the post Candace made last week about her ex-best friend, Allie. When asked by someone on Facebook, if she thought Allie and H had something to do with Summer's disappearance, Candace replied that she doesn't know. 
I j <laughs> wasn't the fucking kid with with Candace. Yeah. How about some freestyles at three thirty eight in the morning? Fuck no, I'm watching videos. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fucking with her, bruh. They went to that swimming hole and shit. Uh, hello. Just thought that she is trying to get back at Allie for speaking out. However, I saw a post that really caught my attention today and got me thinking. Are Candace and Don trying to insinuate that Allie and H had something to do with the disappearance of Summer? Hold up. Hunter in his new role about the time he was charged for trying to pull a woman out of her car with a baby in the back. Thank goodness she fought back. This happened back in January approximately. We have done nothing but try to be good to this family and try to help them. In John somewhere he says if there's a commitment. What? The fuck? Don posted a picture of H today, describing some previous criminal activities of the 15-year-old. It really caught me off guard. <laughs> what is Donald trying to say? Is he just trying to get back at Allie for speaking out, or is there more to it? Why bring up H's past? Is it be- We also- What? God bless America. Is it because people- We also gave a puppy to Truy, H's sister, and suddenly it- Reappeared back at our house. Didn't didn't she mention that in her interview with Chris Madonna? People brought up his criminal history and he is not trying to pass the buck. Let me know what you guys think. Oh God, Snooks. <laughs> I did think that was weird behavior. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what Dolly's talking about. I mean, people would know it. You would know it. The average person would know it. You know. Them are the only clues I can give you, though. You know, them are the only clues I can give you. And even if you got it right, I couldn't tell you. You know, because that's part of the, the, you know, the trivia. <coughs> I got to get the other things I'm adding to the collection. I wasn't even going to break that out tonight. That was just as this one of the things I thought was really cool. And I was going to add like a table full of cool shit. Oh, you know? I thought he was talking and about. And then as people, you know, come in and randomly donate to me anyway, now you have a chance to get something. So. Just more interaction, more, you know. But I Donald Wells made a very interesting. Oh, shut up. I hate seeing fucking shit with titles like that. Summer Wells, psychic scribbles on the other's part. I get the fuck out of here. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna watch Candace's TikToks or nothing, because I don't think that's really gonna help me, like, find shit out about this. At least I don't think it is. Hold on, let's go to Google Earth. <clears throat> Crystal's Crime Time? Alright, hold on. We'll, we'll check out Crystal's Crime Time, then I'm gonna get on Google Earth. I'm look at something. Crystal Crime Time. Ooh. Months go on. Footprints and scents found. I thought maybe I would go back and... Uh, I can't deal with no robotic vo voices. I'm, I'm good on that. 
Google Earth. All right. This is their house, right? Oh, fuck. Move my ass out of the way. This is their house. Here's the main road. How do you get to their house? I'm assuming this road right here. You can negotiate them. Oh, okay, no, go down. I'm assuming the driveway's in here. Hmm. Is this the is this the hill? Is this the hill? That she apparently went down, right? Or no? Nah? Or was it on this road? Ziggy is unloading videos? Bro, fucking straight up, Willow. This doesn't look like a place you just come to look for cherries. What is that? Hmm. Where's the nearest like? Holy fucking shit. State nearby. Hmm. Well, fuck, I lost their fucking house. Oh, no, here it is. <clears throat> Mother of God. Oh, what have I done? Where the fuck is it? Jesus. Bro, yeah, I'm not watching those seven hours of something, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking. I already know a little bit, but if you, if you sit, if you get on here and you start talking about what, what are the obvious facts, then somebody else gets on here and they're like, no, that's not it. It's like, well, just let me look, motherfucker. I said this in another video. Some people that follow this uh, case fucking ruin it for other people. Where's Harsh Reality? Is he in here? Bro, bro, Harsh Reality. Bro, now that you're in here. Dude, I just want to say that I like your videos. I've been binge watching your shit because I, I like how you just tell everybody to like be quiet and let me tell you what we know. And like I went back last night and was thinking about just that. And your videos just made me think like what the fuck? Like like, when you go back to the beginning, and you look at it for what what it is, it's just so bizarre, dude. Like, you really get you really get lost, though, in all the fucking, because, you know, you got people that are like, oh, the, oh, the adrenochrome, and, like, all this crazy shit, and you're just like, God, I'm like, calm down. Like, look at shit for what it is, and, and when you do, it's kind of like, whoa, dude. Summer Wells, the dog scent of summer stopping at the street. Bro, what if... What if, what if the scent to the street to the road is fake? What if that was also a deterrent, you know? 
Read the latest statement from the TBI. Okay. TBI. Summer Wells. Statement. Like, like Harsh said, bro. Like, like Harsh Reality said. It's a uh, page unres unresponsive. What? What is going on my ass computer? Uh, it's not really ass. It's a good computer, but late at night, it fucking the internet resets, and I hope it does not do that on you guys. Okay. TV. Uh, why is my computer fucking froze? <sighs> Bro, Jesus Christ. Page unresponsive. Why? I'm fucking, I'm on Google. I'm obviously live, so it's fucking working. <laughs> Probably Tom. Come on, uh... Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to YouTube it. TB Summer Wells George uh, Statement. Better yet. Well, fuck it. Works fine on there. See, but then you gotta still gotta go to filters. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Harsh reality video. I ain't seen this one yet. <laughs> I'm talking about you like you're not in here. Hello. I like this guy. He's cool. So, so look, 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 look. 2016 and Carly what Trent. Can the you fuck remember? What is it? going on? You know the one that Donnie Lawson was one of. Why is the screen black? Hello. So I can obviously. So look, see look, it. look, look. 2016 and Carly Trent. Can you remember? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, we're really live. We're really live. It won't show his shit. I don't understand. Hello. Refresh. Are you guys still here? Hello. Okay, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is my phone doing? God damn. Yo. Hey, buddy. Sorry for waking you up. Bro, I'm I, up. what the fuck? Is Hello. It? Bro, my computer is fucking doing shit by itself. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, uh, you're on live right now, but, bro, it's... I'm still live. I'm asking people if I'm live. They say yes, but my computer just like refreshed by itself and I'm trying to watch uh this dude's YouTube video and Hello. Oh, could it be for copyright stuff, dude? Uh maybe. 
Ah. It's possible, but... Can y'all hear it? If y'all can hear it, I'm just going to listen to it. Okay, they can hear it. I'm going to just listen to it. Oh, all right. Well, if I need to remote connect and uh, see if I can do anything, let me know. All right, buddy. All right. All right, bye. We're going to listen to him. So, so look, 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 look. 2016 and Carly Trent. Can you remember it? You know, the one that Donnie Lawson was one of the two guys who, who found this little girl. And mm. um, there was a massive, massive celebration. She was found. She was safe. She wasn't completely, how can we say, unharmed. But um, her, her uncle was arrested thereafter and he was charged, prosecuted. He, he, got, he got what was coming to him. But look, what we want to be looking at this is something that, in this case, I would say that there are the hints that the net is closing around the people involved in Summer's case. And you need to heed this warning because there's two things. There's, a, there's two ways of looking at it. And that is either that TBI are covering something and they are, in fact, corrupt or they know something and they are waiting for the, the ability or time to strike. Now, in the Carly case, it was... The public, there were statements made that it was the public that in fact saved her. And they stated that it was important to always keep the public involved. That's what they said. It was important that in cases like this that the public knows what's going on. They're the eyes and they are the ears beyond TBI's reach. You know, TBI, at the end of the day, they only have so many people. They only have so much manpower. Mm -hmm. But when you add the sheer ferocity of social media and the public, that's a powerful, powerful engine. When all of these people are working together to look, to find, to scrutinise, to, to go through everything with a fine tooth comb and to raise elements and push it and say, this isn't right. There was statements made surrounding the fact that they needed to look into disturbing things that had been sort of stated by certain people. But in this case, we see a complete 180. All of a sudden, it's the social media and, in effect, the public. Because at the end of the day, social media is a public voice it is for, especially in cases like this this is members of the public who are looking from the outside in and ha now have a platform to push that forward <laughs> so it's not youtube youtube is the thing stuff. that there is an issue with it's the people within youtube and they are the public so how can one case that remember the child was found and justice was served how can it be that in that case the public was the the winner. They they helped bring the case to justice, and that what was Regina without said. them, we wouldn't be standing here today. But now all of a sudden, there's a problem. So, like I say, corrupt or something has been said on YouTube, or someone has been mentioned on YouTube mm -hmm. that has hit the nail on the head, and there is a danger that this could then affect an upcoming court case. Mm. Is the narrative online by guilty parties, is there an element of control? Is someone Ooh. trying to manipulate the narrative? Is someone keeping a close eye on what is being said to, to, work, to work the case? I think we have to understand Carly's that uncle? there is no coincidences that? here that TBI were so seemingly supportive of the public and social media in a case that was brought to a close and then in another case seemingly completely the opposite. There is a reason for that. It's not sometimes the thing that is going on. what the reason is. You know what I'm saying? Be, be botanical 
is is that real? Is that a true statement? That's weird. No, is that real? What? Whatever, bruh. What? Hold the fuck up. What was her name? Carly Trent? Wait, 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 wait. This happened in the same town? What? Lil Bo Peep, what? The same fucking hills, bro? Oh my gosh, wait a fucking minute. And they're both blonde headed? Or were they both the same age? What the fuck? Is that real? Hold up, 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 hold up. Oh my fucking god. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. How long ago was this? Five years? That's what this YouTube video says. Yeah, like, I I just, I don't see the sheriff being involved. Do you feel me? From what I know so far, I don't think so, man. I really don't. I mean, plus, in his position of power, wouldn't he know that they're going to catch his ass? You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 if somebody fucking, you know, kidnapped a kid and fucking put the kid on his property because they don't like the sheriff and they're weird any fucking ways, I can see that happening. Is the media manager? What does that mean? Tim Mullen? 
Oh yeah, somebody mentioned him earlier. Tim Mullen. Tim Mullen Media. Dude, yeah, what Bob Anderson said, I feel that. Even even my town, bro. My town, the the police and like the government in my town, they fucking get rid of corrupt people in our system around here, and they fucking put them on the damn fucking the news and make fun of them and all kind of shit. What am I talking about that has me fired up? I'm not fired up. I'm just watching stuff about this Summer Wells case. How how long is that? 24 minutes? Evil exists. Research and edit videos about two crime Bro, and missing persons what is cases going on? It's not showing me the fucking video. Hang on a second. Let me call Trevor. <clears throat> hey, uh, can you get on my YouTube channel real quick or like screen share something while I'm live? It yeah. for it won't play any YouTube videos, bro. Okay, yeah, I can check. All right. It's fucking weird. I know. Well, let's let's figure it out. Willow Homestead. This is a good channel. Do I sleep? Yeah, I sleep. Otherwise, I die. <laughs> Is the Cornbread Mafia real? Bro, I googled the Cornbread Mafia for like fucking 45 minutes to an hour. And the <coughs> the only thing I found was like some rich old man that owned like a winery or a whiskey. <coughs> <coughs> or like done something with like alcohol or something like that. See now. See what it does. Okay. Every day. And no, I guess Trevor, it's not it's playing like the actual video. Oh. I had it on my face on purpose because it's not. It, it's oh. it's like I don't know what the fuck However, it's doing. There's one thing. The old but the video doesn't have. If you look, you can run it across the sound bar, or the uh, the time bar at the bottom, and it shows it. But when you this click it, me. and even if you do go to any other video. It's just, it's just YouTube. YouTube's having an issue. Your browser is. Uh, that's weird. Oh, now it's fucking froze. What the hell? Um, I mean, you can completely re- Okay, yeah, Brave is having an issue. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just, I'll just exit it and then boot it back up or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me see if that happens, if that works. Yeah, that should fix it. Alright. Oh, also, Warzone's still up. Oh, that, yeah. Alright. What in the fuck? Okay, uh, so also check, like, your chat and everything over there, because that also counts as, like, a browser window. So that could be causing, uh, and you can open that back up. It says page unresponsive. Page. Okay, everything's disappearing. What is going on? It's just the browser having a stroke. I'm trying to fix it. It's all good. Copy that. Like, press Control C. Control C. Alright, thank you. Should have completely exited the browser. No, it hasn't. Okay, now it has. Now you 
you can move this chat back to where you need to. Okay. Boom. And now you can open up another brave window. All right. Ah. Damn it. Just uh, double click the icon on the desktop. All right. Boom. A boom. All right, cool. Perfect. Now, see if the video shows up. <laughs> All right. Look at Ryan Upchurch watching crime stuff. What a fucking piece of shit. Fuck him. No, I'm kidding. All right. Oh, man, what was that video I was just looking at? Control H and you can see Benny stream. Okay, now, yeah, okay, you fixed it. Okay, cool. Thank okay. you so much, bro. No problem. Let me disconnect and uh, if you need anything else, let me know. All right, buddy. Thank you. Right, no problem. What were we watching, man? Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Motherfucker, I lost the damn video. Fucking shit. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna fucking relax my brain from this tonight. Um, I'm gonna get back on here tomorrow night. I wanna look up some more stuff. If you can, send me, send me some credible videos to my DM on Instagram. My Instagram, I'll type it right here. At <clears throat> Ryan up Church. There's my Instagram. Send me some shit that I can look at. Love you too, Kansas. And um, let's fucking look at some shit tomorrow. Let's let's get these ducks in a row. I want to watch videos that are only facts. I want to watch videos. I want to watch fucking. We need to read that. Uh, oh yeah, that's what we were doing. All right, hang on. I want to look at this real quick right before I go to sleep. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure we can find it. Someone said there was a new statement that came out. Don't see it on here. Let me go to my search engine. Let me go to Google. TBI Summer Wells statement. That's from December 15th. All this is from December 15th. November 10th. I don't see nothing. Rain receipts. What? <laughs> yeah, this is old stuff. I don't see nothing new. This is not all old shit. It's 2021. Night, Willow. Appreciate it, buddy. Ponder. Oh, man, y'all got me on that. Dude, this shit, you just can't look away. It's hard. Because you just want to know, like, what the fuck happened to the little girl, bro? There's no way nobody knows nothing. Ah. Chat about some...
5 Atlanta article. It's titled, Summer Wells Disappearance Search Continues for Young Tennessee Girl 260 Days Damn. After Going Missing. Unfortunately, it's been more than 260 days now because that article, I believe, is from March 2nd. But there was a tidbit in there that... My Instagram does work. I got a, I got a new uh, <clears throat> I got a new team of people that like handle that shit for me. I got it back. Alright, I'm watching this. Fuck it, I don't care. I'm watching this. Y'all can chill and watch it with me. What? What the? What the? Fuck is going on? There we go. Boom. Boom. Shakalaka. That was a little bit interesting. It speaks about Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. It said, Sheriff said investigators have scattered. Hold on, wait, when is this? When is this? Okay, that was just this is yesterday. All right, let's start it over. After going missing. Unfortunately, it's been more than 260 days now because that article, I believe, is from March 2nd. But there was a tidbit in there that was a little bit interesting. It speaks about Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. It said, Sheriff said investigators have scoured through all the available surveillance video they could find that was near the young girl's home but it is a very rural residential area so cameras are few and far between unfortunately where summer lived on 110 ben hill road lends itself to the mystery of this case because it is so isolated it's not like there's ring cameras on every block and even though summer's dad don wells claims that kids can get abducted or kidnapped all the time no matter where they live obviously her living in such an isolated area does play into how this case unfolded however the part that people are glomming onto in the article is the paragraph that says officials said they are not releasing too many details including the exact timeline behind the young girl's disappearance as it is important to the ongoing investigation I understand so that. does that mean they know more about summer's timeline than they are telling us of course well, yeah. we know the ideal missing persons cases are those that are splashed with the words found safe or alert canceled soon after we hear about them unfortunately some cases like the summer wells case drag on Hopefully it doesn't go cold. Perhaps there will be an arrest or arrest. Bro, Thomas. I thought that too, bro. I had that I had that as one of my thoughts as well. Arrests, plural, in her case, and hopefully we won't have to wait five, nearly six years for answers, like yeah, in the really. case of missing so-called supermom, Sherry Papini, who is now accused of perpetrating her own kidnapping hoax. We want whoever is responsible for Summer's disappearance to be brought to justice quickly. We pray it doesn't go cold like John Bonet's case with unanswered questions have a weird decades way of saying later. Shit. But the fact that authorities aren't releasing more details about Summer's timeline indicates they know a lot more than they've told the public, which is a good thing. Look at how much more authorities were hiding and already knew about the hoax perpetrated by Sherry Papini that they didn't even release to the public all these years until her 55-page arrest affidavit was released after her recent arrest. So we can take the article still with a grain of salt because it does point to a time when Sheriff Lawson said that Summer's parents were cooperating. In fact, back then, Sheriff Lawson, according to Fox 5 Atlanta, said that Summer's parents were continuing to cooperate fully with the investigation. Well, we know since then, Lawson has come out and said they are no longer cooperating and they've lawyered up. Since then, we've heard backlash from the family claiming that Sheriff Lawson is wrong. They're not lawyered up. They have been cooperating. He has my number, I believe Grandma Candy said. Whether or not Summer's parents have been investigated 
affected fully, we don't know. Fox News previously reported both of Summer's parents have criminal records. Don Wells, dad to Summer, has been convicted of multiple violent felonies and he served prison time for convictions involving a lot of bad stuff in Arkansas, burglaries, substances, places like Utah, Texas. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, he was cited for numerous parole violations. Summer's mom, Candace Bly, also has a criminal record in the state of Wisconsin and she has most recently a guilty plea concerning domestic issues charged in 2003. When this case first came about, Sheriff Lawson said he didn't think Don Wells's criminal history played into the case or anything. We don't know if he still feels that same way, but we know a lot is being hidden. The only thing we know for sure is the timing on the 911 dispatch call that came in in the Summer Wells case. That's about all we have from the day she disappeared. We can't necessarily rely on other things that we've assumed about Summer's case in the timeline. Police know a lot more, but obviously they don't know enough yet to perhaps build enough of a case to arrest someone. In the meantime, Candace Bly seems to be enjoying her time away from Don as he serves time in jail for unrelated issues. Candace Bly has been active on her own YouTube channel. She's posted some pretty nice photo albums. She's shown her kids. It looks like a baby summer in some of them. Q&A with a friend. Uh, Candace, when they went on their last trip to that Wonderworks place, I believe it's in Gatlinburg, it was prior to summer going missing. And a very strange 20 second love video. Candace is still figuring out the whole YouTube thing. I get it. I mean, I am too, even after years and years. So she writes that her and a, um, I'm sucked into this Summer Wells case, YouTube bro. YouTube channel is for her family and the love of her family. She's published almost 30 videos that are still currently live on her channel, and she's got nearly 12,000 subscribers, so people are interested in her. It says she joined YouTube December 31st, 2021. It's almost like a fresh start. Nearly 300,000 views thus far on her channel. And a lot of photos, some of them are from, it looks like when Candace traveled out west, with Don to appear on the Dr. See you harsh. Show. And you see careful, her wearing buddy. her famous red baseball cap or a mask and short hair. Lately, she's been growing out her hair. Another thing which makes sense with Don locked up, she's feeling a little bit more free. Hopefully, she'll continue. We know Candace likely needs a means of making money, earning an income. She probably wants her children back with her. I believe what all of us viewers want is summer home safely and by home what? it doesn't mean she's returning to that ben hill road home nor necessarily should any children return to that home what we want is the truth it's kind of hard for many youtubers perhaps to speak freely about their misgivings about this case without being accused of victim bashing or bashing the parents we know what we see when we saw sherry papini go missing quote unquote in 2016 a lot of us thought there's something askew with this this is wrong this is bad but she turned up 22 days later allegedly heavily battered all these problems her husband said she was down to 87 pounds and shame on anyone who thought it was a hoax when people bring up their red nick patterson i'm not sure but they gotta know something bro flags they have God to given instinct it's purposely such a fucking cat chasing its tail type thing it's like it almost will drive you nuts that something's wrong sometimes you are accused More of just victimizing a person well it turns out sherry papini was most likely lying she's been arrested we'll see how her trial goes but a lot of people are feeling the same thing about the summer wells case they are feeling okay this doesn't seem like some case where some random person snatched a child out of her basement there are plenty of inconsistencies and that's what we try to verbalize but you know we lay off because we don't want to quote unquote victim bash we're just Speaking about what our hinky meter is saying, this does. Bro, what if she is still alive and this is all to make money? 
does not look right. Let's just end it there. I'll link to the article. You can check it out yourself and the 911 call and all of that. And we just wait. We don't know if we'll be waiting years, months, or days to find out more about Summerwell's case. But I pray they can solve it. Deuteronomy just a tip. I don't. No. I don't. Because look at these people. How much money are you going to trust these motherfuckers with? Not a lot. Not enough for a, a fucking human. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Therefore, that the Lord your God is God. If you he trust is. this family with a large amount of money, then you're the dumbest fucking businessman in the world. Dumbest fucking businessman in the world. Not only that, from a fucking blue collar guy's perspective, look at their yard. Do you do you understand what's in their yard? Do you realize what's in their yard? If they owed somebody money, Kansas, you know this, bro. If they owed somebody, let's say, I don't know, $5,000, they have that $5,000 sitting in their yard. How? Scrap metal, bro. They have a fucking school bus. <laughs> they have multiple fucking vehicles. Exactly. It ain't shit to fucking cut that shit up, take it to the scrap yard, separate it, cut the Calic converters off, take the fucking radiators out, because aluminum's worth more, and scrap the shit and make the money back. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay, Oz, I've seen I've seen people say that too. Oh, they're lazy. Well, cut the price in half of the scrap, call somebody, and be like, yo, I got a fuck ton of scrap metal. If you split it with me, you come get it, you haul it, you give me half the money, bring the slip back from the fucking uh, scrap yard and split the money with me. So that's out the window for me, bruh. What if somebody they know came and got her and was like, hey, you know, uh, she possibly knows you. She, she, she already knows you. You know, maybe it's a family member or some shit like that. She knows you. Let her stay with you. Or whatever. We'll say she's missing. We'll start a GoFundMe, make all this motherfucking money, and then she, when she miraculously pops back up, we'll be like, "Oh my god, that ain't that's not far fetched at all, dude." Here's my thing, though, Oz, uh, and and I'm willing to go back and forth with you. It's, it's it, like on like talking about it. This is good to, good shit to talk about. You know, it's good to have a community that actually talks about, you know, what could possibly happen and not know crazy shit like adrenochrome or or she was fucking abducted by aliens or some shit like that. <coughs> Let's say she was. It ain't going to be nowhere around there. It ain't going to be nowhere around there. You're not going to sell a stolen truck to your neighbor. Because when it's reported stolen, somebody going to find it. It would have been, been far away. Stray dog. What do you mean stro stray dog? What Swamp Monster said. Is Ben Hill a good neighborhood? I have no idea. Not only that. Not only that. Here's another thing. If she was sold to somebody, if she was sold to somebody, the risk is so high right now on everyone who's getting involved, like, 
all of social media, like me, like you guys, uh, fucking the TBI, the fucking FBI, like everybody. The risk is so high. They're not, they're not gonna keep her around, bro. Candy Melvin said, "Lots of known sex offenders on Ben Hill Road." Out of town friends of the church members. So what's up with the church, man? Yeah, really. That's the thing, like, ah, oh, man. Yeah. Luke, yeah. I just don't see why you would, if you were, if you were, Somebody who, like, is going to steal or kidnap a kid. Why the fuck would it be there, bro? If it was random, why would it be there? That does not make sense to me. I live in the country. I live in the country, bro. I live in the hollers and shit. Gang stalking. Gang stalking. What is? I'm gonna look that up. Gang stalking. What does gang stalking mean? Gang stalking is a phenomenon where individuals believe they're being followed, stalked, and harassed by a large number of people. Well, motherfucker, if you gang stalking people in the goddamn country on a dead end road where motherfuckers have hundred round drums and shit, you're fucking, you're an idiot. Uh. RTVB Newsroom, I seen that. I seen that. I noticed um, she just wanted to be, it looked like she just wanted to be loved, dude, and have, like, somebody pay attention to her. Fuck no, they ain't finna target the country country, unless they got a damn death wish, bro. The David Dotson guy and did I believe in that place? Mm. Yeah, I thought it was kind of weird. He was like, I play a I play a flute. It smells like up dog. I mean up church. <laughs> I don't think the family seems smart enough to pull off this level of a scam. I thought about that too, Rebel Soul. The reason Summer went missing is over property? Who, who, uh, between who? Now, uh, what free to be said, bro? Even, let's, let's just say that they don't know what the fuck happened. L listen, I, that's not what I think. But let's say they don't know what happened. Look at the fucking people they decide to bring around the family. A bunch of fucking weird 
A bunch of weird people. Let's just be real. It's a bunch of weird people. Weird people, drug addicts, all that. Hello? I don't give a fuck. When I have kids, ain't nobody that has fucking a dope problem, sells dope, sell, even sells weed. I don't fucking get, even sells weed. It's not coming nowhere around me and my kids when that time comes. Not a fucking chance. And my yard's not gonna fucking look like a whole ass tetanus shot neither. Hello? Both parents pass a lie detector test. I don't fucking... A lie detector test is, is bullshit. Did you know that a lie detector test doesn't even hold up in court? Because it's not accurate enough. So, fucking who cares about a lie detector test? What's the most confusing thing about the case? Fuck, dude. I mean... Every fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what Unchained said. It's not admissible in court. But that's also true. F free to be. There's certain drugs you can take. The motive was CPS coming the next day. Mm. I don't know, dude. If somebody gets rid of their child because CPS is coming, pff, that's fucked. Shit, I thought I was going to bed too. How's your cat? Fine. What? 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 Mercy. What? Did the neighbors hear Summer scream? They said they heard something. Oh, man, I can't get rid of this hat, baby. This hat's got a story. Waffle House story. How's my dog doing? Fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't find the... I don't find the picture of her in the back seat like odd or nothing. I really don't. I mean, I when I was a kid, I fucking fell asleep with my damn seatbelt on, fucking hanging over in the floor, fucking all kind of shit. How am I doing? I'm doing fucking great. You have to look closely. Listen, man, uh, the TBI, the FBI, everybody's looking closely. I can't, there's only, you can only look so close. The scream was unfounded. The fuck does that mean? Somebody screams when you just look in the sky. Oh, there's that scream. There it goes. I don't know what the fuck that means. I wonder if Summer's parents were abusive. I seen uh, the alley chick sit on her porch that the lady would like smack Summer and shit. I seen that. Shit, you a real one too, fuckhead. Uh, DC Electric, I seen something where, uh, oh, unfounded, it can't be proven. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, Lawson said they don't believe it happened. Wait, is did the sheriff call the neighbor a liar, bro? Hmm. 
night, Pam. That's also true, what Rabbit just said. Oh, yeah, I read about that, RT, uh, RTVB. Okay, I got a, I got a question for y'all. <clears throat> what do you think the turning point in this entire case is where it's 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 the the it's the time frame where you're like okay somebody's lying like what what is the specific piece that makes you think all right somebody's full of shit i want to know see the shaved head was weird to me too all right steve i'll see you later buddy is this on a loop no bro this is live sandra um, I thought that was weird too because if someone's about to look for somebody, that's changing their entire appearance. You know, she's a little girl, man. You shave her head, she and you know, let her play outside for a little bit. She looked like a little boy. The first interview was kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. Her being a helicopter mom, yeah. Night, Trina. Now, the the first interview, how long was that after the little girl went missing? How long is, from when she went missing, that interview? How How long is that? Yeah, Brit. Only like th 13 days. Only 13 days? That's it? Look, I get it. I get it. Innocent until proven guilty. I get it. I get it, but it's fucking worldwide news, all right? Literally everybody and their mama is looking at this fucking case right now, all right? We get it. I, I know, proven to guilty, but I'm just, I'm just looking, dude. I'm just looking. <clears throat> I'm going to watch the first interview again. I don't fucking get fucked. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn. <coughs> I'm about to go get something to drink in a minute. Uh, is her name, her last name's Bly, right? Oh, God, I gotta pee, too. Oh, oh I gotta pee. I don't really see... I'm sorry, bro, but I don't I don't see a little girl's favorite flower being a cactus. It could be. It could be. But why would your favorite flower be something that if you touch it, fucking stabs you? I'm just saying. Okay. It's 12 minutes long. A lot. I'll watch this with you guys, but I have to piss first. Can I go piss and make me some chocolate milk? Body dance, fucking. <laughs> Chef said it ain't even a flower skin. You right, bro? That's like a fucking. That's a puffer fish of fucking flowers, dog. Who the fuck wants? Fuck that. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to fucking piss real quick. Make me some chocolate milk and throw my fucking trash away. Cause my old lady works her ass off at cleaning our house, and I ain't trying to fucking be the one who makes it all dirty all the time. 
even though I am. All right, I'll be right back. Talk with each other amongst yourselves until I get back. Smelly cats. All right. Let's see this shit. I'm going to mute it when I eat my Uncrustable cook because <laughs> y'all don't want to hear me munching. Dude, I fucking love green beans. All right, let's do the damn thing. Welcome, Savannah. My name is Bruce Wayne. All right, let's watch this. 12 minutes of your life. Hot. Facts. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard. Oh, man, somebody fucking recorded this with only left ear audio. A lot. I know she didn't walk away Wait, from this Wait, why is this not the full interview? It says full interview, but fuck it ain't. A lot. Whatever. All right. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard. Appreciate it, Cash. By her swing. 
I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch. Do what? And I watched her walk into the kitchen with You can't hear me. This ain't the first interview? Okay, Oz, 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 seem, Oz seems to know what he's talking about. Okay, so Dom was interviewed first. And now this is the... Okay, I got you. Got you. Okay. So I'm going to watch this one. And then we're going to watch the Don's. A lot. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard. By her swing, I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. Appreciate it, Griff. And I said, hey, I'm going to eat my Uncrustable now. I I'm just going to. Mute me while I eat. We'll talk. I'll click the button to talk to you guys, but I don't want you to hear me munching. Okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch, and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer. I'll be back. And within two minutes, I came back. Okay, before I start munching, sorry. That part right there kind of bothers me a little bit. Right here. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer. I'll be back. I'll be back means you're like going to be gone more than two minutes, I feel like. Just saying. And within two minutes, I came back. And I asked the boys where their sister was. And they said, she went downstairs, Mom, to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times, and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check, and she was nowhere in sight. She was just gone. I don't go on walks around here or runs because I'm scared of the bears and snakes. That's why you don't go on walks and runs? Because you're scared of the bears and the snakes. But your daughter can go play outside. But your but the daughter can go play outside and they'll tell the brothers to go get her. Uh, whatever. Okay. 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 And even the coyotes that are around here. Well, whoever has my daughter... I pray and hope that they have not harmed her and they bring her back to us safe and sound. And just turn, I mean, go to the FBI, the police, and uh, clear it up. I mean, I don't know, it seems kind of elusive. What's a Xanax do it's to really you? It's really strange that I've never. That's what my old lady said, too. Does that make you feel like. Is that like a, that's a downer, right? Anti-anxiety. 
like a volume. Oh, okay. I think I took a volume one time at the doctor's. Make that does make you like chill, right? Okay, yeah, that was definitely what I took at the doctor. All right, ready? Never seen this truck, and I've never heard of it until just recently. But I wish they would come forward and explain themselves. I mean, if you're not a suspect, they at least come forward and say what you've seen. <laughs> she was a tomboy. I shaved my head. She wanted to have her head shaved like me and the boys did. She tried to shave her head she tried in to the shave back her head so and, and make it. Uh, I think you can see it in some of the pictures. And it was getting out of control, so she... We decided to shave her head off and let it grow back long, and she shaved her head to, to so she wouldn't feel bad. And uh, but but it didn't bother her at this point. Well, we knew I knew right away that she was abducted. You know, I knew that right away, and that's what I told them from the beginning. But they have to they have to go through their. How would you know that? How would you know that? If 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 that would if I was in that position, I would have I would have said I would have said something. I feel like I'm sure I don't have a kid, obviously. So, you know, I don't know what it feels like to have a kid, but. I'd have been like, I don't know, but the mother if somebody did steal my kid, when I find you, I'm gonna fucking cut your head off. Is what I would have fucking said. That'd have been my reaction, I think. I mean, fuck, I feel that way about my own damn brothers. Let alone something that I made. You feel me? I would still be looking for her. Uh, yeah, bro, I would dedicate the rest of my life to at least finding out what the fuck happened. You know, I forget the word. Investigation. I have to do one step at a time, I guess, but I'm sorry that they had to spend so many man hours in these woods and everything. I've seen them limping and everything else, you know, and I feel for them. But I just wish there was a way that neighbors could search neighbors' houses and then if they're not willing, you know, get a search warrant or something, but there's just no way you can search every single house you know, in the eastern United States or whatever. But I wish there was a way. Yeah, really. Just thankful for the person or persons that's doing that. You know, out of love. I and trying it. trying to get information and trying to get her found. And we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. That means and, a lot. And we thank uh, everybody who's trying so hard and praying so hard. <laughs> Chills down my spine, fucking. Chills down my spine. I got cold chills. I didn't like that look, bro. Watch. Thank them from the bottom of our hearts. That means and, a lot. And we thank uh, everybody who's trying to find. trying to get information and trying and to listen 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 i'm not a fucking criminal investigator i'm not a damn psychologist i'm not you know i'm a fucking dude who writes music and rides harleys okay I i'm not claiming to be like a lot of these people who take time and you know study psychology and all this shit i know a little bit but i don't know that much um but that was freaky i i know like that her found and we thank them from the bottom of our hearts that means a lot. and we thank uh, everybody who's trying so hard and praying so hard and she's an awesome young lady and uh, we just want her back but, yeah. yeah there's always going to be haters you know and haters you know it's always going to be that way in this world fuck about and, haters and i tell the haters to go fuck the, self the good be worried friends about them. And christian people that are trying to help us and praying for us and praying for summer and uh, we thank them from the bottom of our hearts and that's the, the kind of people we try to relate with and socialize with 
So we don't know anything about, you know, no red truck or we hardly know many of our neighbors. I mean, because we just try to be around good people. I mean, and we do have good people in this area. We found out since this has all happened, we got some real good neighbors and good folks everywhere. But uh, the most important uh, thing is to bring Summer home safe. I'm sorry that you feel this way about us, but we love our children with everything we have. Motherfucker! If I know for a fact that I didn't do nothing, and I and, and I was for real, like, trying to find my daughter, I would not be telling nobody sorry. I'd be like, fuck you, motherfucker. I ain't fucking do shit. I'm trying to find my daughter. Y'all can suck my motherfucking ass. Da -da 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 -da. I wouldn't be telling nobody sorry. I'd be like, fuck, you're sorry, dog. Yeah. We've never went without, thanks to Summer's daddy and my husband. He's always provided for us and has worked as much as he could. And to Summer's daddy and my husband. He's always provided for us and has worked as much as he could and can and still is. And I'm sorry that you guys feel that way, but that's my baby and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around. Hold up, hold up. And I'm sorry that you guys feel that way, but that's my baby, and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around, ever. She loves to. What is she referring to? What What's the context of this? And I'm sorry that you guys feel that way, but that's my baby, and... Nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around. That pause, as long as thinking about something finishes sentence. Ever. She loves to. She loves. Okay, but that's my baby, and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around. Yeah, see Ever. that? She loves to, she loves to dance. She, she would always want me. She says, "Daddy, hold my hand so I can twirl." And she would, she would just like to twirl and twirl and twirl until my arm got tired, <laughs> you know. But and you know, I I put out there that one of can uh, one of Summer's favorite songs was uh, Godzilla, and they say, you know, and they're jumping all over me about past tense was, you know, well. I'm sorry about that. It's just... She also liked the song um, by a New Breed. It was called House, My House. She sung that a lot of times when I play it on the TV. She loved to dance. She liked to think of herself as a princess and, uh, you know, and all that like all young girls do. Uh, Rolling Stones, Frozen. 06, she loved to be that. Facts. Elsa. You already know. Bro, is is there a interview room on this video? I think she really loved to be in church because she felt a lot of love there. And I think it's, you can't explain what that love is, but you feel it and you know it, you know, when you're young. And she felt that there and, and she loved everybody in that church. Or she loves everybody in that church. I should rephrase that because they'll tear that apart as past tense. And I apologize again for that. Yeah. I hope she gets to come home, you know, and I hope she gets to be with our church family again. Our best friend in that. Maintenance specialist. We got some unexpected snow and ice, brother. Fast. Yeah, apparently that's the dad and that's the mom. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, she said something a minute ago that um, it kind of like, it made me think like, what the fuck? But I think she was talking about uh, it's Summer's dad and my husband. I was like, wait, is there two different people? But there's not. Church was robbing. 
She loved yeah. her to death. Yeah, she looked up to when women she, that were. She come to that church. She went looking for Robin. That was her favorite person. Any woman that uh, was professional, was that pretty, yeah, beautiful. she looked up to those kind of women. She, you know, they were uh, how do you, the word I'm looking for. I can't think of it, but she looked pretty. up to them. She gave them a run for their money every day. She'd give them ah, there's for cuts money. in there this fucking times, thing, man. You know, we'd, we'd be, you know, at our boys, like, don't do this and don't do that. And next thing you know, the stick would come up and just whop them, you know. And it'd be like, Summer, don't do that. You Summer know? was the boss of the family. Yeah, she's she, typical girl. When they get out of line, she'd put them in line. She'd do her best. She'd love to play in the mud and the water and swing on her swing and... Enjoy dirt. When I was when I run the lawnmower around, she she would run behind me. When the boys run their bikes around, she as fast as that little bike could go, she would be behind them running as far, and mm -hmm. keeping up with them, no problem. You know, she loved to run. She just loved to yeah, run. And, uh, she could pull herself up on that swing, her full body weight with her two hands. I think the past tense thing is kind of weird no, since no, it's only like. Can do that, but she can. Was she in school yet? Like no, 13 no. days this after, year. right? This was supposed to be her first year She's of kindergarten. Been, uh, we did all the what? I took care of everything. Yeah. She, I had her already took on all of her oh, shots. And oh, is what are those charges about? Registered in the school for ready for this year. Well, I just never expected. Waiting for Oz's reply. For anyone to get a hold of my heart like she has, because I try to guard my heart as much as I can, but she just. Why in the fuck would you try to guard your heart against your daughter, bro? Uh, hello, what the fuck? For anyone to get a hold of my heart like she has, because I try to guard my heart as much as I can, but she just, she's, she holds my heart in her little hands, and I love her with all my heart. Um, yeah. I'd do anything to have her back. Weird. If there's any way, if you can find it in your heart to please release That's her. That's what I said, Team Rose. Somehow, I don't know how you might do that. You don't know yeah, how? Don't, I don't know how you might do that. For the rest of your life. All right, man. Somehow, I don't know how you might do that. Dude, I lady is a trip. I said the same thing. Just very weird language. Like, did I have message back yet? Ooh, Jackie. Jackie. I'm going to listen to it again now that you said that. You, uh, Jackie said it's like it's like he's talking to someone. I'd do anything to have her back. If there's any way if you can find it in your heart to please release her somehow, I don't know how you might do that. I mean, cause I'm, you're probably scared of going to prison for the rest of your life and everything else, I'm sure. But please find it in your heart, have mercy, and find a way of letting her go. Find a way. And, and where we can get her back. And uh, just please have mercy on her and. You know, and us, and her, her brothers, and she's such a loving, good. Bro, that that could possibly make sense because they can't communicate with this person.
Huh. They can't communicate with them because they'll be busted. Spirit, please, please don't hurt her. Please let her come home. But she's, my biggest fear is, you know, her being tormented or locked in a, a dun. Bro, but why would the, I don't, why would the mafia have her? Why would the mafia have her? Mafia is like. I don't know, man. I feel like the mafia does like big money moves. You know, I mean, who the fuck's gonna do big money business with these people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like the mafia is just doing some like they're doing some other shit, like some I don't know, import, export with cars and fucking food goods and drugs and whatever else. I don't know. I just don't, I don't see the mafia doing business with these people. <laughs> the idea of the mafia, anyway. I think like Italian cars and suits and, you know, shit like that. Oh, no, 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 no. I know child trafficking is common in the USA. I know that for a fact. I just don't think these are the people you're going to do that business with, man. It doesn't look, I mean, like like somebody said earlier, they don't look smart enough to pull anything like this off. These are the people who are like most likely to fuck something up. Uh, it might be his daughter. I'm mean, pretty sure it is. Or something. He don't look too old to have a daughter. She loves. She loved to be outside all the time. And that's that was her. Unfortunately, her you know her downfall. Well, a lot said. of times we, the boys would be inside and we'd be like, "Where's Summer? Why'd you leave her out there alone? You know, go get Summer Please now." Please listen you know, to and the that's over and over again. Please listen to the phone call of Candace calling Don's sister Mary. It's mind blowing. Oh, okay. Salty C, we're going to check that out just for you. Man, I should have went to bed a long time ago. Uh, can. Ah, oh, fuck. Candace and who? Candace and. Let me go make sure somebody just didn't fucking slide their car in a ditch, bro. Hold on. Nah, they straight. Once I try, I want to get my cashews, bro. Yeah, I wondered that too, Rebecca. Candace and who? Mary? Bro, this case is more addicting than Black Mirror. Original audio? Is it like 20 minutes long? Hello? Hey, man. Hey. What's going on, Candace? They just took Donnie away. Who did? 
school police. They did? How come? I don't know. They weren't telling the reason why. But they, they're flying him off to Boston, Massachusetts. They're flying him off to Boston? Yeah. Really? Oh my gosh, Candace. You don't... The pr it's just a... Oh, there's nothing. It was a prank call. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Keep listening. All right. Wish they would have told you the reason why. So they had to take him because of all the genies that are dead. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, Candace, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry, Candace. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, honey. I just, I feel so bad for you. I wish I was there. I wish I could hold you, Candace. Okay, is this like a prank call that's like recorded and sent to somebody to be like a joke? Like, why does... Why does it sound like both of them know? <laughs> He's never been me the kids as long, ever. He's always been the greatest father. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Candace, I'm so sorry. Gosh. Um Um they so so you don't think that they're just gonna take him for maybe a couple of days and release him? Take him where? I don't dude. know, I don't think so. You don't think so? Hmm. Hmm. Well I don't then... know what Jenny and her friends did. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't know, Candace. I don't know. You know, they might just take him maybe for a couple of hours. Maybe they're just taking him to to question him or something. You know what I mean? Why would they take him to the bar? What? But why would they take him all the way to Boston? This is the question, you I don't... This does not sound like a fucking prank call. If this is a prank call, this is the most fucking fucked up prank call I've ever heard. Dead ass. I don't know. Boston? I don't know. I don't... He don't have any ties in Boston that I know of, right? Not a... Not, yeah, not that I know of, just, I mean, the only places he's ever been is, is like... Federal, that's all I know, federal. If she's such a great actress, and if she's getting this bit, I... If she's this bent out of shape over the cops picking up Don... Where is this kind of emotion during, you know, her fucking kid missing? Oh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Candace. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I know. I have nobody now. Oh my gosh! I know. When's your mom? Is your mom coming back? No, she's not. From the, from the Capitol. That's all I know. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Wow, that is just crazy, Candace. That is just <laughs> crazy. Wow. I'm just. I'm really sorry to hear that, Candace. <laughs> God. Is this just, a fucking, is this a real didn't... phone call, bro? 
Is this real? It kind of sounds like bullshit. I don't, I don't know. What What is this? What does that mean? Fives and twos? What does that mean? No, why lie to his sister? Well, I can't say if this is if it's real or not or, or planned or whatever. I don't. I don't. Hmm. Wait, 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 what was that? I don't know, but they didn't say something to you. Okay, never mind. Um, you know, and then there was the other things in between, but the, the, um, what I recall was the, the dare game was the big one that always happened in the beginning. Walk us through that. And by the way, none of this is your fault, right? I, I know you and I have talked about this at length, but I want oh, you yeah, to keep Katie, we got lots of snow. That principle, okay? Okay. So um, walk us through that. The dare games. Well, it Savannah, just it I'm was not any taking any that, bookings right you now. Know, he'd, Thank you, though. I'd be playing in my room, and he'd come in. He'd go to go to the bathroom, and he'd come in. Um, in the beginning, it wasn't all the time, but I would say. It I want to see the interview. Or what's the one where they rewatch stuff, and then him and the other guy go through it. And they tell you, like, what their body language is and shit. What was that called? The behavior panel. Good thing it's the weekend. I ain't got shit to do. Because I'm staying up hella late. Bro, there, yeah, there is one. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Personally, I think someone came up here and grabbed her and ran down the hill. I think so, And too. threw her in a car and drove as far away as they could from this area. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard. Oh, hey, it's Dr. Phil here. Please subscribe. When they clip those motherfuckers out, it sounds way worse. What's not a joke? To the behavior panel. All right. So we good? You ready? Chomp. Here we go. 
I don't know. I'm Scott Rouse. I'm a body language expert and analyst, and I train law enforcement in the military in interrogation and body language. And I created the True Crime Workshop with Greg. Mark? I'm Mark Bowden. I'm an expert in human behavior and body language. I help people all over the world to stand out, win trust, and gain credibility every time they communicate, including some of the leaders of the G7. Chase. I am Chase Hughes. Did 20 years in the U.S. military. Wrote the number one best-selling book on behavior profiling, influence, and persuasion. Nowadays, I train everyday people and intelligence operatives in this. <laughs> My city. bad, guys. Greg? Greg Hartley. I'm a former Army interrogator, interrogation instructor, resistance to interrogation instructor. I've written 10 books on body language and behavior. Put together the True Crime Workshop at truecrimeworkshop.com with Scott Rouse. And I spend most of my time on Wall Street and corporate America. All right. Well, today we're going to talk about Summer Wells. And we're talking about her. We've got a lot of requests to do her. So, again, the panelists have, have spoken, and we're going to do what they suggest. So uh, Summer Wells is a little girl who's missing from Kingston, Tennessee. And we have um, an interview, a couple of interviews to take a look at, of her parents. Greg found the footage. Greg, what, what do you got? Yeah, I think it's Kingsport. It's up in the These corner the up in I'm Tennessee. About. And what we have oh, is These ain't the guys I'm talking about. Yeah, her, her father and her mother. The interview room. That's what I'm talking about. about it meaning i'm feeling some anxiety some angst about what i'm saying and it's and it's raising these distress the in my mind and in my body and so that's a sensitivity indicator and and there's there's a lot of them and and so we look at all we we, we or, uh because they are watching these shows too they are learning from us and this is very typical because they're not the first ones <laughs> Um, there's been a lot of people that have been called out for things when they have lied and others, myself and other, my colleagues have, have called them out and, and later on they change the narrative and they change it up. And it's, it's usually in direct relation to All something right, that, that we said or wrote and we've taught them now what to say. Is this the interview room? Okay, listen, I'm not going to stay on here and fucking keep watching this shit. If everybody's going to argue about what I'm watching, okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay, and now they say it, but um, we call that, it's just too late. You know, they're, they're showing up with that narrative way too late. That should have come in the beginning, and so... It'll be interesting to see how this plays out, how the how the the narrative changes, how it. Uh, I don't care, how, buddy. We're gonna. I, I personally think the that there's gonna be here, more breakdown asshole. because this takes a toll on you. If there, if you're hiding anything, it's just so difficult to maintain and physical, mental, uh, emotional. It's, it's there's gonna be a breakdown. Yeah. Thank you, vet girl, uh, and we are. I 100% I agree with you. So here's the way uh, we play this, guys. If you've never uh, been here before, uh, just subscribe. Uh, we're good to go. And then, so the way we do this is I put it on a little bit slower. I've asked the mods to put our chat on slow because we've got almost 3,500 people in here now. Cashews. Okay. So we went, you know, we're, we've, we've got people who like to learn and like to listen and who also have opinions but they're um you know they're they're considerate of of our chat here okay we like you know we we love that you're here we love that you have an opinion uh it doesn't have to be right doesn't have to be wrong but it does have to be courteous okay and it, it also has to be respectful of not only our mods uh, i'm very protective of them 
but also of our listeners and all of our TIR family here. Um, we, uh, we consider you family if you're in our chat, okay? And so, you know, please continue to be respectful. Uh, when we're done here, uh, look at that, you know, right down there, that ticker that's going to keep going through this whole conversation <laughs> here. Uh, get over there. Uh, take a look at Steve's, uh, you know, things, this courses and stuff that he advertises and trains. And then he also has a YouTube page uh, that you can, you know, get over and, you know, hit that button as well. So the way we're going to do this, guys, is right by those numbers. And so I'm going to put the video up. Steve's going to, you know, we're going to have a, a narrative to that. And he's going to point out things that I may you know, not see, which is a lot. <laughs> Trust me. This guy is the pro. I listen to him and I put my fruit at his feet. I will turn uh, and this we pay band attention around. To, you know, to those things mm -hmm. that he sees. And then, uh, you know, hopefully there are going to be things that you're going to see uh, that. All right. What does stuff like that mean? Look at the codes. Look at the codes written on. Monkey Vaughn Street. Look at the codes on the house in the Wells interview. What does that mean? I, I'm not, I ain't like discrediting you. I'm just saying, what does that mean? Codes. What do you mean? Like the address? There's barcodes with numbers, letters, and symbols. Where, though? Like, on the address? Like, what, what do you mean? All right. I'm getting off. I'm not dealing with grown ass men and grown ass women sitting here and crying, being like, oh, this is boring. Well, fucking go do something else with your goddamn time. This is what the fuck I want to do. I ain't sitting here and fucking. Listen, watching grown people fucking typing bitching here. Crying like a fucking asshole. I'll be back on tomorrow.